undefeated run has come to an end here against a Nottingham Forest team that came and did a job on us really. Um, they didn't play particularly well, I thought, didn't think for the majority of the game. Um, and in fairness, I think we had probably most of the ball, but we didn't create a single chance. And that was really, you know, you're never going to win a football match if you don't create any chances. And this talk about, you know, we need, desperately need another striker, we could have anybody up front today and they wouldn't have scored because we didn't get the ball into the box quickly or effectively enough and it was a really disappointing performance and one which in a way has been coming for a long time the uh, game last week against Barnsley the game midweek against Swansea although being different teams and I think that's a contributing factor to today's defeat is that we've seen through this whole month there hasn't been a game where the same team has played two games in a row it's been very chop and change and I think that does have an impact on the sort of consistency of the team. We've seen all season that we've pl played the same players week in, week out. This month we haven't been able to do that because of the FA Cup. Whether we should have played the full strength team in the first game against Swansea perhaps, that's an argument for another day. Um, but one thing I wanted to point out today, in my, in my opinion, whether you agree or not, is that Matt Doherty uh, was found out today. And it's something that I think has been lingering on for a long time this season. Ruben Neves is able to find Doherty in acres and acres of space most of the time. And that's great and that's fine. But Doherty's ball into the middle or what he does with the ball, he cuts inside. Today he lost the ball every single time. The crosses into the box were poor and it was found out easily. Now Jordan Graham has been brought back from Fulham uh, to play in that position. Now attackingly I think he'd be a good option but defensively I don't think so. So for me definitely Doherty needs to be, certainly have at least somebody challenging him for that position or replacing him. I think if we had somebody in that position where Nevis can find him easily and then get a decent ball into the box we would be scoring more goals. But I think that really held us back in the first half because we weren't able to create any chances from those good positions. And it was almost as if Nottingham Forest let Doherty have all that space on that right-hand side as well. It was as if they'd seen him play over the last couple of weeks and had left him. Now, I don't want to focus too much on Matt Doherty as well, but generally very disappointing today because of the lack of chances created. We didn't test their keeper once. We didn't have a shot on target, I think, the whole game. Uh, not that they did either, but of course the freak goal, the deflection, which through the whole season I've been talking about, could happen when you one nil down, when you one nil up in a game. It only takes a little goal like that, a little deflection or something just going wrong, and you find yourself uh, one nil down. And then three minutes later, can't argue about that goal. Um, you know, good finish from the player there. Uh, but second half, the kept force came out a little bit more attacking and the fans were up and behind them but fair play to Forest they stuck all the players behind the ball and made sure that they came away with the three points and I think they look like a team who probably could go on a little bit of a run I think the playoffs are probably a little bit too far away for them at the moment but Wolves need to reassess and evaluate of course we've got a week now before the Ipswich game uh, which We've seen when we have lost in the past, it hasn't been for a long time now, the 28th of October was the last time we last uh, last lost. Um, we've seen a reaction from the players and hopefully I'd imagine that that would be the case now. Um, and if we do have one more run like the one that we've just had, it will surely see us to promotion. One loss in 14 games uh, is a fantastic record and not just one loss and a you know, a couple of draws, we've won the majority of those games and picked up a lot of points and hopefully that sort of run again will see us clear. Anyway, let me know what you thought of the game today. Uh, disappointing, but I think it was inevitable that we were going to lose sooner rather than later. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.